This is an Earth 2017 special report. Greetings, September 6, 2017. If you thought Hurricane Irma, one of only three Category 5 hurricanes that touch land with 175 mile an hour winds coming in on the tail of Hurricane Harvey last week was the big news of the day, you're right. Until this month. X-10 class solar flare erupted earthward facing, letting off a 3.3 and then an X-9.3, yet it topped the charts at X-10. A 3.3 then topping the charts at an X-10. Here's that slow motion. Look at this. That is Earth facing. That Earth right there is about right about where we are. So strong it disrupted the entire NASA array. It can't even take it. It blanks out stereo ahead. <laughs> short circuit we've never seen anything like it in recorded history I have a film which explains a coronal mass ejection it's a bit technical but if you follow along you should get the hang of it I'm beginning to feel like a goldfish you got him going doctor well, doesn't all this spouting and erupting have some effect on the Earth? Oh, yes, tremendous character. Roll eight. Well, for instance, when a large flare flashes up around the sunspot area, it immediately sends out a burst of powerful ultraviolet rays that hit the Earth in eight minutes. But it also sprays streams of slower electrified fragments of atoms out into space as if from a hose. This solar spray of fine particles usually misses the Earth, but at times the Earth is in its path. Now the Earth is a magnet with north and south magnetic poles and a magnetic field around it. The spray of minute particles shot from the sun, which takes some 30 hours to reach the Earth, is deflected toward the poles by the Earth's magnetic field. As this solar dust, stardust you might call it, comes down into our atmosphere near the poles and collides with air molecules, it creates the most beautiful spectacle of the aurora, also called the northern and southern lights. Keep close tabs on this and Hurricane Irma and her two siblings following right behind her. This has been an Earth 2017 Special Report. I'm Mark Directory. Doom and Gloom is next over most of these stations. I'd say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when.